Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and we are currently in Paracas. So before we start the vlog, I just want to talk to you about yesterday briefly. So I woke up with a sore tummy, basically had diarrhea the whole day. Um, and even last night, so we went to bed at 12, um, I couldn't sleep and then at three I ended up, um, like I was fr absolutely freezing cold even though the bedroom was boiling hot. Um, I was shaking, my whole body was shaking. I started crying, I think I started freaking out. Um, then went and threw up, <laughs> uh, was still ill, ended up sleeping from like three till five because we had to get up at five for our bus, which you will have seen the footage from that. Um, I've had an anti-diarrhea pill today um, from Paracash, driver went out and got it for me, slept for an hour and a half and now we're about to go out and get some food maybe for lunch um, and have a walk around. So I'm exhausted and still feeling a little bit ill so excuse me if I look that way if I look ill uh, but that's the reality of traveling that's kind of what's been happening yesterday and today but we are here and we're about to go out so I thought I would show you around we've never been here before we literally arrived in the bus and then walked straight to the Airbnb so we've not seen any of the town um, I don't really know how big it is how far the beach is all this kind of stuff so the plan today is to relax I think we'll do some more tours in the next couple of days but let's get going Okay, so first thing to talk about is the weather because it's actually warm and even though um, Ox Pample was warm, there's obviously a lot of mosquitoes so we couldn't really wear shorts and t-shirts. Lima has moments of being warm and moments of being cold, but today shorts and a t-shirt. So this is like the first time, I was thinking about sending my shorts home because I've not worn them yet and I was getting a bit frustrated of carrying around shorts that I'm not wearing. But yeah, it's nice weather here today. I think it's nice here pretty much every day as well, that's what they said to us, so that'd be nice. So we're staying in an Airbnb which is about a road or two back from the main strip, but we're walking down and this is the main bit, it looks lovely. There's like a water fountain and you can see the hills and the water in the background. This looks lovely. So apparently it's a super tourist town as well and there's just basically tourist restaurants, tours of the islands, things like that. So like I said, there's lots of these tourist things where you can get buggies to sand dunes or scuba diving, boat trips, things like that. So I think their main source of income is tourists, honestly. So here there's these markets. This feels like a beach town, doesn't it? Very touristy. But it's nice to have a bit of sun that we can actually enjoy. It feels like we're on holiday. <laughs> So there's these markets and shops here and then there's the fishing boats and if smell vision was a thing you would smell the fish. <laughs> it smells so strong but there's all these fishing boats and then there there's a harbour. I wonder if that's where you get the tours and things. Wow this is so pretty. So we're just walking along the beach and it is so dry. I think it's all seaweed. I don't know if you can hear that. And there's loads of flies, I probably can't see them, I don't know. Can you hear that? Anyway, this is the view. So the land over there that you can see, the big hill, is a national reserve, which means it's basically a national park. So you have to pay to get in. Um, we do get a free tour with Peru Hops, I think we're going to do that maybe tomorrow. 
but yeah it's worth noting that you have to pay to get in um, but it looks huge I don't know if you can really see on camera how big that is it's massive so I've walked along a little bit further and there's this painting on these archways so over there is the land the other side the um, national reserve thing and then I think here is the Balestas, which is the islands of penguins and seals and birds and then over there it goes underwater to more like scuba diving fish, octopus, sharks, things like that. So yeah, that's lovely. I thought penguins were only in cold places. I thought penguins were only in cold places. I didn't know that. Yeah, it'd be nice to see them if we can. So I've just walked to kind of the end of this pier section. There's Jeremy. But if you can see all the fish over there, sorry, all the birds over there. So there must be fish because they're all hunting, I think. Anyway, this is the view. Wow, how magical is that? Can't wait to see this at sunset as well. It's gonna be so pretty, hopefully. So we're walking a little bit more into town and I just saw this artwork that I thought I'd show you. But we're now walking this way. I'm gonna head into town a little bit more, try and find some food. I think I just want some bread. Jeremy maybe wants some rice or something. So we'll see what we can find. So this seems like it's the centre of town. This is one of the main roads. I think there's three that are parallel. There's kind of the beachfront one, this one, and then the main driving one is this side. <laughs> um, but we're just thinking about food. Oh, that's cool. We're just thinking about food and Jeremy's found one restaurant that was 15. But I really don't want a big plate, so keep looking and we'll see but yeah this is so I've just come across this one that sells empanadas and arepas burgers and hot dogs so that might be an option small place that I mentioned Jeremy got a chicken sandwich which he said was a little bit spicy he enjoyed it um, we ordered a juice which was strawberries pineapple um, bananas. bananas and papaya oh, yeah. mm. which was yummy and then I ordered a hot dog thinking okay it's just gonna be a piece of bread with a sausage in it and that'll be it but it turned up and it was big and it was full of lots of different toppings and it was absolutely delicious so if you ever want a really good hot dog, you can go there. And she said it's um, from Venezuela. She's Venezuelan, so it's Venezuela food. But really, really yummy. Way more than I was expecting, so it was delicious. And I'd recommend it. Okay, so here we've got the beach, obviously, and boats and things. And then this side is, I guess, some of the like tourist restaurants and hotels, maybe. That one looks nice up there good views so it'd be nice to check out a couple of these places maybe we'll see and then we're carrying on down and then now there's lots more restaurants um, so you're definitely not going to struggle for a place for food here it's full lots of different things octopus fish fish ceviche so we're just walking down this road and look at this plant these spikes are serious like they are sharp so you wouldn't want to fall into that bush because it's just full oh it's not focusing there we are it's just full of these spikes I've not seen this one before okay look at these spikes they are big but they are strong like I can't even snap that like that would do some damage so we're just walking past restaurant Waira and also I think this is a hotel which looks quite nice just thought I'd show you in case you look for somewhere to stay and then I think there's beach access across the road here so we're going to go and see and see what the beach is like it 
So we've walked onto the beach and over there is the seafront where we were at just a minute ago with the shops and restaurants and things. Nice big empty beach. And then that side is the reserve. But as Jeremy just mentioned, it does not smell great, does it? <laughs> it smells of piss and shit, basically. So I'm not surprised it's empty, but it looks nice. It looks very beautiful. I mean, oh, but with the wind, it looks lovely oh. like that. But yeah, it does smell. Oh well, let's that carry on walking. So we're currently walking around the golf course, and we think this is the entrance, Oasis. It's very snazzy. <laughs> But all around here, this is obviously where the nice houses are. They've got high walls and security cameras and things like that to keep people out. It's typical, isn't it? So we're now at the kind of middle point of the golf course and this is the view. So there's obviously somebody there selling ice creams, I guess, and drinks. They are everywhere. But there's, yeah, they are everywhere. But there's a square with a statue of, well, there's a head there. And there's two more heads there, but look at this view in front. Wowza. I don't know if you're going to hear me with the wind, but look at this house and these houses, and then this is your view. That's kind of insane. staying at. It was so interesting walking around that part so we walked around the outside of the golf course and then at some point about halfway around we could actually get on and like walk around the path to see the houses and it felt a lot like I don't know millionaires row of paracas like it was all mansions and beautiful hotels I guess airbnbs and things like that but it's so interesting to see that versus like where we're staying for example. Um, yeah, super interesting. Like beautiful, but it's obviously not probably not where most tourists go because it's a little bit further away. It's not really, you know, a sight to see to go and see these million dollar houses, but it was good and I enjoyed it. But it's hot and we're both a little bit dehydrated and tired. So walking back I think we're gonna relax for an hour or so. Nap and then number two for the nap number two for me. Um and then probably go out and get up some food for dinner even though that's going to be like a banana for me maybe and then hopefully watch the sunset tonight if I'm not asleep <laughs> any thoughts on today on the houses? No, it's a nice place yeah it's nice it's cool. here we decided that we quite like Peru because Different. we like the people here don't we yeah. like everywhere you walk somebody says hello and it's not necessarily to sell you something I mean they jump on you a little bit here it's like hi we do tours we do tours come and pay come and give us money but even like aside from that, people just generally speak to you and like we were walking to the hostel earlier and somebody asked where we were staying so we told him to oh, it's just up here on the left. Or like people just say say hi, don't they a lot? Yeah. They're very friendly people. Polite. Very polite, yeah. So that's it for the moment. We're gonna head back to the Airbnb and I'll update you later on. If you know me, you know I have a thing for churches and this is quite a cute one. I like that with the windows and things. So this is the main road in Paracas and like I said earlier there's one road over which has all the restaurants and things and then the other road is actually the seafront but this is what the centre of town looks like in terms of the restaurants and the hotels and things. 
So the plan was to come back for a little bit of a sleep, um, just a little bit of a rest. Ended up sleeping from like 4 till 6.20. The sunset is right now. I literally woke up at 6.20 and was like, well, the sunset's in 10 minutes. Okay, so just quickly got up and got dressed and see the last little bits of the sunset. So I'll show you what it looks like. Jeremy just grabbed his drone. I think he's going to try and fly pretty quickly. Oh, we are exhausted. But this is the sky. So it's a little bit pink, a little bit orange, and these are like the small restaurants next to us. It's a shame that we miss the sunset, but never mind, I always needed to sleep. So this is the last bits of the sunset, with the shops and restaurants on the left, and then the water on the right with the pink sky. shop to pick up some bits for dinner tonight. I'm just going to have a banana. We've got two apples at the house so I'll have those. Maybe a bit of pineapple and that's going to be it. Um, Jeremy's getting himself a yoghurt, um, an avocado, plantain. Shopping, but look at the sky. It looks so pretty. Anyway, time to go back. <laughs> 